So, Comic Con, if you don't know what it is, I'll explain it to you. Comic Con is a nurse paradise where you can cosplay, you can meet actors, voice actors and actresses, you can go and look at all the stalls possible, and as I said at the start, most of all cosplay. Now, if you're new to the channel or if you've been here before, you know I am a fan of anime, Doctor Who, all that, and so I book my tickets. So me, James, Aaron, Ben and Liam, all from the podcast, we decided to go to Birmingham Comic Con on Saturday. So I met James right here on Saturday and we went, went to meet the boys at the train station to go up to Birmingham and explore the con where we, we had never gone before. Here, James is here with his bald head. Highness, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. <laughs> last yeah. i'm here in my cosplay i don't know if you can see me properly but we're on our way to the nec for comic-con 2022 yep. so we'll be meeting up with liam ben and aaron and of course james has been bain yeah i've got we've got a long road ahead of us yeah um... I yeah. think two hours trip, I think it is. Yeah, Aaron said he's only had two hours sleep. I've only had four and a half, but it's easy uh, to get up early. I've had five. Oh, uh, no. I was, so, I, I, I was going to go to bed early, but then I stayed up playing Pokemon, Pokemon not Arceus, and, and leveling up through my Pokemon. Daft. So, so, well, so I was, I've been playing it for quite a, a while. Um... Over, over the last few days, we have a new Pokemon coming out, mm -hmm. and um, it comes out next Friday for us, which is the 18th, so I've been playing that quite quite a bit, and so I, I got a Sylveon, I, I leveled up on my starter type version up to max, and same with my Staraptor as well, so I've been quite busy with, with that, so... Uh, next time you'll see us, we will probably be with the guys. Yeah, or at the bus stop. Yeah, probably. See you there. <laughs> so guys, we're here and I'm with Obi-Wan, Peter Griffin, Bane and Multiple. So when we arrived at Comic Con, we got all ready, we went and got in the line quite early and just admired all the creativity of the costumes all around us. <laughs> It is cool when you meet people from your handy bag. From Star Wars characters with Jedi and Stormtroopers to anime and manga characters to Doctor Who characters, any Fictional character you could think of was probably at this Comic Con. Now, you're wondering who did we all dress up as? Uh, so I went to Deku from My Hero Academia, James went as Bane from Batman. As you can see, he completely shaved his head bald, and we all really wanted to smack his head. Aaron went as Peter Griffin. Liam went as a Jedi 
or Obi Wan Kenobi and Ben and went as a multiple man from the X Men. So as we went in, the storms are all in front of us, and so we started looking round. I found a few things at first, which I'll show in a little bit. Um, the amount of places there, full of stuff, was was phenomenal. You had uh, anime stuff, you had Star Wars stuff, a lot of retro Star Wars stuff, a lot of everything, everything, uh, one of the main things was Artist Alley, which was some, full of some amazing drawings and paintings and, and just really creative stuff. Now, I went down Artist Alley looking for Doctor Who stuff, as I do because I am a massive nerd. That it is when I found this. Now, if you know what this is, you will know this is probably very rare to find in box sealed, and this is the Utopia set from series three. Now, as you said, know, I paid £20 for this, where well, I think that's quite cheap, one of these, being that it is completely sealed and unopened in the original packaging from that time. Now I've had original figures in sealed packaging before, nothing that big. So finding that that was a highlight of the day. Now I was talking about different people you can meet as well from actors to voice actors. Let me tell you who was there. So, David Bradley, who plays the first Doctor in Twice Upon a Time and in Power of the Doctor and, a, and an adventure in Space Time in Doctor Who. He was there on the Friday and the Sunday. Unfortunately, you couldn't make this that day or, or otherwise I would have met him. You had Ron Perlman, who played Hellboy. You had Sonny from Dragon Ball. You had Trish Stratus and Mickey James from WWE, which we will get onto a bit later on as well. And Steve, I, I think his age was RJ from Peacemaker. Now, so going back to the wrestling, they had full-on wrestling matches there with a massive wrestling ring, or probably still a bit of footage from one of the other guys' videos they put around here now. So, as the guys were enjoying their wrestling, I had something else planned, because I had went and booked an autograph with Lucy Christian. If you don't know, know who Lucy Christian is, she plays Piraka from My Hero Academia, hence the costume I wore. She also played Nami from One Piece, and a lot more other characters. Which you, which you can easily find online. And so this was my highlight of, of the day and probably the best thing of the entire con for me. That was meeting her and getting an autograph from her. Now, of course, you knew who I was playing as. 
And so we talked for, for, for a few minutes and she was the nicest person you could ever meet. Um, she was absolutely lovely. Uh, she had come all the way from Texas to Birmingham to meet it, everyone. So I was only meant to get one all autograph but because I told her it was my first con while we were talking she gave me this this little one at first and yes I've already got them framed where she wished me a happy first con. Now I know you can see see me recording through through the reflection but there you there you can see some of the characters she's played and the little um, note she left me right there. So that was the little one she gave me. And the main autograph, this one right here, where she put her catchphrase and signed it to me. And it was absolutely fantastic. It was a, it was a really big highlight of the day for me, and a moment I, I will remember for years to come. Really meeting somebody like like her who who was so nice in person. So after I met her, uh, I went roaming through the con a bit more, and found another sign thing which. What I could, could gather is fake, but it is from one of my favorite characters from My Hero Academia as well, and that's a gyro. So this was signed as well, which I think was hand signed, but you can still see where the ink is, but I think it is a fake one for try. I still don't mind because it's still one of my favorite characters and I got that. So we had a more look round. I lost the guys for about half an hour and we meet it back up at the wrestling to watch a bit more of that. There we go. Here's the boys. So we're going to have a look around a bit more. Bits and pieces down here, which you can probably see down there, which you won't see until after I get back from the car. to watch the interview with Sony and Lucy and it was just normal chatter and talk asking what what bits of their favorite, favorite part of the shows they've been in and it was just nice fun watching them talk about this stuff talk about the other cast members that they work with, like the voice actor of Deku. Um, um, audio books, there, there are literally all kinds of things. And so, so yeah, no, but like reading lots of different kind of copy and getting good practice imagining like Sunny said, why you're reading what you're reading, and being able to be very adaptable that way is going to serve you very well. Would you see also do a lot of practice? Don't record yourself and think about how you could see those lights in a different way. Like when you see what you do, you say, try to be high, try to be low. Would you recommend people maybe try doing that as well? Yeah, I think so. I mean, how would you do it if you were casting that role? And there's tons of anime on YouTube or whatever. Uh, Cliff Chapin, I don't know if you guys know him, he's one of our 
uh, prolific, most prolific actors. And he, yeah, he taught himself how to do this by just taking YouTube videos and writing up the scripts and then practicing dubbing in real time. At home. Just At home, yeah. Because it doesn't cost a lot now to buy a little microphone. Yeah. So after that was finished, it was nearly time to go. We went to the Visitor Evil um, talk and interview around three o'clock, which was good. And that was the end of our day. So at this point, we decided to head home. I've got quite a bit compared to you guys. I was in the same bed as George, and you know, we didn't get. No, I'm joking. Uh, but um, yeah, Liam and Ben have um, gone now, uh, gone back home. So, uh, yeah. I think in that my new driver. Well, oh, wait, the train is factually. That's factually incorrect. So yeah, being back with quite good, we have Sawn, and I'm with these two. The other two we, the other two we abandoned. They got um, picked up by Uber drivers, never to be seen again. But overall, the day has been fantastic. I think you've got some weird. I said, I think you've got some weird dreams, George. I definitely do. My mind is a nightmare. So after that, I was going to do out and out so on the actual day, but we'd been up since. Well, I've been up since five, and I think most of the guys had as well. And we were just done. We were so tired. We really enjoyed our day. We had this massive adrenaline boost all during the day. And get home, we were just done. So it was a great day. Really, really good, and we will do this next year as well. And believe me, it will be another vi video, and hopefully, I can meet some more actors or voice a a actors, and actually m make more videos like this of different cons, which I would love to do, and. Yeah, it was a brilliant day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a video I've been looking forward to making and going to Comic Con. And hopefully there'll be more like this very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.